Hey there, my name is Andy Robertson from CQ Academy, and in today's video, you're going to learn how to calculate variance and standard deviation. All right, let's head over to the computer. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing you have to know when you're trying to calculate either the variance or the standard deviation is whether you're dealing with an entire population of data or whether you're calculating the variance and standard deviation of a sample. So a lot of times in engineering or statistics, we're dealing with sample data or population data. And the reason this is important is because the equations change when we're talking about a population versus a variance. So I put together this little table to help you understand all of the different parameters and statistics that might be involved in calculating either the variance or the standard deviation, depending on whether you're talking about the sample or the population. So let's start with the population variance. So it's denoted as sigma squared. And what we do here is we take all of our individual values within our population. This is called x. We compare it against our population mean, which is designated by the Greek letter mu. And then we divide by the population size, big N. So you can see that here. Anytime we're talking about a population of data, the mean value is characterized by mu. The variance is denoted as sigma squared. The standard deviation is just called sigma. And the size of the population is denoted by the big letter N. When we talk about sample statistics, typically the mean is designated as X bar. You can see that here. The variance is called S squared. So this is the sample variance. The sample standard deviation is denoted by the letter S. And the sample size is denoted by the letter N. And you can see that when we move from the population variance to the sample variance, the equation changes slightly. So we're still taking our individual values and comparing them against our sample mean, or x bar. But then on the bottom half of the equation, instead of dividing by the population size, the big N, we're now dividing by the sample size, N minus 1. And then to calculate the standard deviation, all we do is we take the square root of the variance. So you can see here when we're calculating the population standard deviation, or sigma, we're just going to take the square root of this equation. The same thing is true for the sample standard deviation, which is s. And again, all we're doing is taking the square root of this equation. Now let me walk you through an example so you can see how this works in real life. All right, so here's an example. Find the sample variance of the following seven sample measurements. So in the problem statement, it's very clear that the seven data points we're analyzing are samples from a population. And those sample values are 104, 126, 102, 107, 121, 105, and 119. Now let's refresh ourselves on the sample variance equation. So the sample variance is equal to s squared is equal to the sum of x minus x bar squared. And by the way, anytime you see this symbol, it means sum. So we're going to sum up some values and divide by n minus 1. Now before we can calculate the sample variance, Obviously, we need to calculate the sample mean value. So let's do that first. So to calculate the sample mean, or x bar, we're going to take the sum of all of our individual measurements, the sum of x, and divide by n, which is the number of samples. So we take all of our seven sample values, and we divide by 7. So 784 divided by 7 is 112. Now what we need to do is we need to compare each of our individual values against the sample mean. And the best way to do this is to use a table. So in this table, we start on the left-hand side with our individual measurements. And then what we do is we move over here to this next column where we compare our individual measurements against the sample mean. So for example, 104 minus the sample mean of 112 is minus 8. 126 minus the sample mean of 112 is 14. And on and on down the list, we can compare our individual measurements against the sample mean to come up with a value. And then the next operation in the equation is to simply square that value. So minus 8 squared is 64, 14 squared is 196, minus 10 squared is 10, minus 5 squared is 25, 9 squared is 81, on and on. And then basically we have to sum up this column which equals 564. So now we can complete our sample variance calculation by saying the sum of x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1 is equal to 564, you can see that here, divided by 7 minus 1 is 6 is equal to 94. So our sample variance in this example is equal to 94. And then we can convert this into the sample standard deviation. 
So remember, to convert from variance to standard deviation, all we have to do is to take the square root of the sample variance. So s is equal to the square root of s squared, which is equal to the square root of 94, which is equal to 9.69. So the sample standard deviation of this data is 9.69. All right, that's basically it. All right, that's it for today. If you really enjoyed this, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. That way you continue to get future videos just like this. And if you're interested in becoming a certified quality engineer, head over to cqacademy.com where I've got all sorts of free tips and tricks and training material to help you on your journey to become a CQE. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.